Dear brothers in office, St. Paul writes to Timothy, if we endure with him, we will also reign with him. Endurance in the face of suffering is the heart of the heartfelt second letter to Timothy. Endurance is remaining, staying put, abiding, even when, especially when, everything is collapsing around us. This hippomone is the word employed by St. Luke to speak of the junior high Jesus enduring, remaining at the temple in Jerusalem. He had to hang in there doing his father's business. It's the word Jesus himself uses to give a steadfast promise three times in the Gospels after giving warning of the last day's challenges. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. Notice what endurance isn't. It isn't creating a whole new thing. Enduring is guarding the deposit given you. It isn't coming up with fancy new philosophies or hip slogans. Enduring is following the pattern of sound words. Brothers, you didn't put yourself into the holy ministry. You were called, you were ordained. The flame was lit by another. Fan it into flame, endure, remain. Satan and his demons would love to dishearten you and me. They're serious. They hate you. They fear the gospel and the church and your ministry, which is precisely why St. Paul was in chains and why you, like Timothy, are under attack and perhaps have heard or read some unfair words from congregants during these anxious days. But these precious souls are not the real enemy. The unseen forces in the spiritual realm are what you're up against. If we could only see what's real, if we could only see the once crucified but now resurrected Christ reigning over all the cosmos, and yet fully with us, not just as your God, but as your human brother, your high priest, interceding for you, his church, for your endurance too, delivering his strength by the powerful work of the Holy Spirit, delivering his endurance in his ever-living word, in the daily renewal of your baptism into his fully completed death and resurrection, which remains forever. Isn't that precisely the image the author of Hebrews called us to stare at like happy sheepdogs fixed on the great shepherd we serve? Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured from sinners such hostility against himself, so that you may not grow weary or faint-hearted. Thank you for your faithful service as you do what the Lord has given you to do and remain constant in him. The Lord Jesus, who endured the cross, sustain you with his endurance and his joy, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus.